Hi, my name is Rich Stores. We are into tutorial number five of the SCORM integration kit for Unity 3D. Now, today we are looking at how you can build, package, and deploy your Unity 3D projects. So let's get into it here. We've got three things we're going to cover. We're going to look at building your WebGL project using the SCORM template. Then once you've built it, we will look at packaging it up using the um, SCORM integration kit to be ready, um, a SCORM ready package, a zip file, that then we can show you how to deploy that into an LMS. And in this case, we're going to use Blackboard Learn Ultra. Don't forget, this is a part of a tutorial series and um, have a look at the other tutorials you may have missed that give you some of the basics, explores the SCORM data model and how to, to integrate your own project using the kit. All right, so let's jump into the live demo here. This is basically just the SCORM integration kit into an empty project and it does come with its own um, test app so you can test out some things um, in a learning management system ready to go and also gives you some example code on how you might use it. <clears throat> so some of the things you want to make sure if you haven't done so already is to open up the build settings. You've got to make sure it's a WebGL project but let's also open up the player settings. because we want, by default, it's set at the default template, but you want to swap that to the SCORM template because that allows, that publishes or builds your WebGL project with the required SCORM JavaScript files. So we'll have a look at that in a, in a minute. There's, there's a few other things you might want to play with depending on the uh, resolution and size of your Unity 3D project, but that's, that's the two absolute requirements are uh, the it has to be a WebGL project, it has to have the SCORM template. So we'll just leave it as, as the default there. Now another thing here is, I'm not going to select the development build for this one here, but in order to get more of the troubleshooting error messages that might crop up in your project, you do want to have that one there. Um, but we'll keep that down. So what we can do right now is, we will just build the project as is. Now we're building it here um, as if we're deploying it into the, the final um, learning management system. We're not testing it at all. So I like to put mine into Unity Builds and we'll save it as tutorial SCORM. Okay, so here you can see the build has been successful. So let's just go look at the file system here in my Unity builds. You can see that it's got the the whole build there, but in the template data, because we've used the SCORM template, we do have the SCORM JavaScript file. That's the part that our um, the SCORM API wrapper communicates with to communicate out to the learning management system. Now, I do want to show you one thing here. I am going to open up the SCORM simulator JavaScript file. Now this does get loaded in and it can be taken out when you deploy it. Um, but this one here allows you to test the functionality of your code as if there was getting some data out, out from a learning management system. So what you can do is you can uncomment this line save it, and then when you run your WebGL build, um, remember that most of the browsers now won't allow you to run it from the file system. You'd have to pop it into a, um, into a, a, 
a web server, uh, MAMP, ZAMP, um, or you can do the build and run option from, from your uh, Unity 3D editor. But if you do that, it will supply a whole bunch of um, information as if it was reading from the learning management system. So at least you can check some of the LMS functionality without actually having to load it up into um, a learning management system. But we, we won't do any more there right now. So let's look back here. So we've got we've got a um, a web app ready to go, but this is not a SCORM compliant package. If you look at a SCORM compliant package, there is a whole bunch of metadata, um, XML files, and a uh, whole bunch of stuff there that is required for a whole bunch of stuff that is required for for um, the learning management system to recognize it. So that's where this other menu option here comes in, which is export SCORM package. So we shall uh, select that. And this one says, export this scene as a web player first. Now, um, or web, it's WebGL nowadays, uh, basically because um, when this was first built, you, you needed um, pro uh, version of Unity 3D to get a, an automatic build happening. But we've built it, that's good. So what we've got to do here is go through a few steps to get this ready. First of all, we've got to choose the folder where we've just built our web app. So we'll go to Unity Builds. I called it Tutorial SCORM. I'll choose that one there. What's the name of the application? I'm just going to call it Tutorial. This is the one that um, uh, appears in some of the metadata for the SCORM package. It's the identifier. So we'll call it um, Stalls. Tut one title. We're just going to call it tutorial description a test score app module title. Let's module. Now this is where you can actually set some launch date parameters that will get passed to the web application. Um, it's part of the standard. I never use it. If, if I really want something to, to be um, baked in by default, I'll just put it into the web app itself. Um, completed by measure. If this is set, it indicates the activity's completion status is solely by how far they've gone through the progress, that progress setting, instead of the score. So we won't, we won't select that. Select the time of an action. So you can do a number of things. If you set a time limit in, sec in seconds, this is the expected behavior that you want to set for the LMS, which is exit or continue with a message or no message. I tend to leave that completely empty. So we're going to go ahead and click publish. Um, I'm just going to name it tutorial package. I'm just going to leave it in, in there just so I know where to find it. In the build folder, click save. It should take just a moment to do that. Okay, so then we can close that. That's done. Now, if we go back to our file system here, we'll see the tutorial package. Now, I'm going to unzip that just to show you what it looks like inside. As you can see, we do have the build folder, we do have index, and we do have template data, but you can see there's a whole bunch of extra information and um, I'm looking for a particular IMS is it here IMS manifest file and that's the one that contains all of the metadata for this particular learning object so that's that is now a fully packaged zipped up SCORM package so what we should go to now is go into my test course that is sitting in Blackboard Learn Ultra and I'm going to create a new item here. It's going to be a SCORM package. 
um, I'm going to upload a SCORM package and use in my Unity builds SCORM. Here it is. Select that. Uploads nice and fast. It's busy unzipping and processing on the back end. Okay, so here we go. Um, it doesn't like some of the metadata here for some reason, this brand new version, but it doesn't actually affect anything. Title, it's picked it up from the tutorial there. There's a bunch of specific to this learning management system here. It's not really to do with the, the SCORM side of things. When I'm testing, I do like to set it as unlimited. We're going to grade the SCORM, 100 points. Great. Description, you can see it's put it through there. So I'm going to click Save. And as you can see here, it's loaded it up. And make it visible to students. And I'm going to enter student preview, mo preview mode. And let's launch it. Okay, this is where you do want to muck around with resolutions and sizes and things like that there. Okay, so here you can see I've left a couple of um, errors so to see that the logging area is working. Um, it's picked up my name which is the preview user. It's, it's got some SCORM data from the LMS which means that it's started it for, for credit. It's a normal entry. The mode is normal. This means I'm just taking it as a normal user. So what I might do is just store a couple of things in. For instance, the learner interaction. We've, we've seen this in an er earlier um, tutorial, but this one we may have question one. Or let's just Q1. Dogs are better than cats. Waiting one student response is obviously true. So we'll add that interaction. And let's go set a score. So minimum score, maximum score. They got 95% and they completed it. Okay. Remember how I was saying that we have to, as we're going through, we are adding um, setting values to the LMS, but nothing actually gets finalized until we do a, a, um, a commit statement. And so I'm going to commit that here. And when it sends, sends that terminate um, called, the LMS shuts down the window. So that's the basics of building, packaging, and deploying your Unity 3D application into SCORM, into an LMS. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll probably have one last uh, tutorial session, which is a, um, a basically a beginning to end exploration of using the Unity 3D SCORM integration kit uh, on a, a demonstration project that Unity set send you out of the box and to show you how you can take an existing project and, and just plug some of those things in. So I'll see you guys next time.